Judges chapter 7 verse 2. God said to Gideon, the people that are with you are too many for me. How many people were with Gideon? There were about 20, 30,000 men with Gideon. But God said, these people are too many. I'm not going to use these people to fight this battle. Remember that the people that we're talking about here, their enemies were over 300,000. And God was saying 30,000, that is too much for me. Why did God say that? He says, listen, the reason that why they are too much for me is that if you win this war, if you win this battle with the 300,000, 300, sorry, 30,000 men that you have as against these people that are so many and you win this battle, Israel will vote themselves against me saying my own hand has saved me hard work God says in 2023 your hard work makes no difference your toiling will not increase the blessing of the Lord upon your life your hard work will not make you richer what God wants you to do in 2023 is that he wants you to depend on him completely 2023 God wants you to completely depend on him he wants you to depend on his empowerment God plans to empower you um, supernaturally in 2023 but he wants to empower you through the blessing the blessing is the empowerment of the Lord is divine empowerment okay and he's telling you that your toiling is not going to increase the blessing of the Lord and that if you're going to be conscious of the word of the Lord that the blessing of the Lord that 2023 is the year of the blessing and the blessing of the Lord is what is going to prosper you he says that listen he will add no sorrow to it and it will truly make you rich truly riches glory to God so while we're reading the scriptures yeah so verse 2 God wanted to use fewer men to win the war so that the people would not claim it was their hard work verse 4 God tells them the first thing he does was to get rid of the first group of people glory to God he, he gets rid of the first group of the people completely and then he says and how did he do that he says if you know that you are afraid if you know that you are fearful or you are afraid go home this battle is not for you <laughs> that's what he told them in the selection process he first tells them that listen go home and I'm telling you that 2023 is not the kind of year It's not the year that is for the fearful or for the people that are afraid 2023 is the year that is full of giants is the land full of giants but guess what the bible says that you are a giant slayer glory to god you are a giant slayer and you have to enter into the gear with the consciousness that you are empowered with the blessing of the lord and you're going to take it that means 2023 might be a tough year for some people but you see by faith the bible says that your faith will that overcomes the world so through your faith you are going to overcome in 2023 you're going to overcome the year you're going to win the year glory to God so we have to deal with first and foremost we have to deal with the spirit of fear father in the name of Jesus I come against every spirit of fear whatever it is that is holding down your people or holding them back or whatever it is that is designed to bring the spirit of fear and to bring defeat into their lives in 2023 I come against it now in the name of Jesus and I declare by the power of the blood of Jesus that you are free from fear in Jesus mighty name so first and foremost we dealt with dealt with the spirit of fear so people uh, when God says uh, the fearful and they are afraid go home did you know that 22,000 men went home 22,000 men went home now we're left about um, if a few thousands of men and then after then we know that we, we, uh, the Bible says that um, Gideon was left with about 10,000 men then God says looks at 10,000 men and he says 10,000 men there are too many he still says that there are too many and he says you know what i'm still not going to um, use this crowd 2023 god does not need a crowd to bless you he doesn't need a crowd to do what is about to do in your life he needs just a few people that he has chosen by himself and those people will come cause the change and the difference that you desire in your life in the mighty name of jesus let me say this one of the marks that you are entering into god's will in the year 2023 will be that god will begin to cut out of your life people that do not matter it looks as if in this year 2023 that god is big on relationships because he's going to cut out people that do not matter people that draw you back people that lead you astray people that um that that 
that cause you to be distracted he's going to remove all of them from your life relationships that may hinder you in the future because the future that you're entering into is a great one and you might not know now but it is all in the plan of god when you see those people it's all in the plan of god now that doesn't mean that those people are evil that doesn't mean that they are not uh, maybe they're planning to do you bad or do you evil or anything like that no but rather what it means is that this person is not in god's will for your life at that time it's not the person that you need to move it to your next and higher level of success okay so that's that's what it means so much change is coming glory to god so much change is coming all right and then the next thing he does after the ten thousand people are left is that he decides that he's going to test the ten thousand people god says he's going to test them and see so he tells gideon take all of them to the river and let them you can go read it for yourself it's in judges chapter 7 he says take all of them to the river and then let them drink water and let's see the people we're going to choose and this is where the connection between between um, some uh, the the uh, Proverbs chapter ten verse twenty two and Judges chapter seven the connection between the two scriptures this is where we find it so Gideon takes them to the river and he tells all of them go drink some water and there are two groups of people okay the two groups of people did basically the same thing they all went on bended knees all right to get water from the from the pool but there was another group of people the first group of people they, what they did was that they went on their knees and then they began to lap the water straight from the pond with their tongue the way the bible says it clearly the way a dog would drink water have you seen a dog drinking water before he just brings out his tongue and he's just lapping at the water you know and he's just lapping at it okay that was what they did so they put their head right in the pond and then they began to lap the water but another group of people also went down on their knees and then they picked up water they took scooped water with their hands you know with their palms and then they drank it does it paint a picture it, 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 do you see the connection between proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 in proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 it tells us that the word blessing is the picture of a man in ancient hebrew 